Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Villains on the Rebirth server. We are with Nightmare Lass and we're at level 44 Mastermind who is 18.6 million XP with 660,000 sorry XP to go to get to level 45 in our next set of enhancement slots. We are on a story arc for Mage Killer Shukara. This looks like it's our final arc and possibly our final mission. It's good that you still have the strength to defeat Lilitu's demons despite her presence in this world. Now we must track her down or, although I enjoy the presence of the Circle of Thorns, my source of recovering ma magic origin hero arriving. No, I think this is the story arc, so um, we need to learn about Lilitu's coming, coming by defeating 20 Circle of Thorns so you guys know what's going to happen. I will pause the video while we do that. Um, if you want to know where to hunt them, the to me the quickest, easiest way is Nerva Archipelago, up in the north, couple islands um, up here, right? Thorn Isle is where there's a bunch of circle. They're all a bunch of gray cons. They're pretty easy to hunt. I will do that, and I will bring you back when we have all 20 circle defeated. Be right back. All right, we have defeated our circle of thorns, and now we're going to call Zukara, who says it sounds as though the circle w has more in the works than merely summoning Lilitu. We will investigate this new angle. If there's one thing I won't permit, it's the possibility of looking like a fool in the face of a mystic. The mage you defeated was telling the truth. There's more to the circle plans than the summoning of Lilitu. I need you to get to a circle base and find out all you can about their activities. So I am tempted to put this on plus one, but um, we also know that sometimes there are elite bosses in here and our minions don't do well against the elite bosses. Um, by the way, I have actually chatted with uh, Valentina, who's a very long-time player of um, City of Heroes and has played more Masterminds than I have. And um, Ardywin, or Adriwin, I guess her name is. I, mis I misread it all these months. It's Adriwin, um, who has played a bunch of, a couple of Masterminds as well. Both of them have done Demon Summoning as well as others. Um, one of the things that, um, Val said is she doesn't even summon the little guys anymore once she gets to high level because they're so weak and they die so fast. Now, I find them totally useful against small, uh, groups of enemies, but not super useful against the, the big bads. She said she might summon them, but if it's in the middle of a fight and they get killed, she certainly doesn't bother resummoning. We were talking about that, like... Do you keep resummoning when they die? And she was like, nope. She'll resummon the big guys, but not the little ones. Oh, she says it's not worth it. Because they die so fast, they're just like tissue paper. So I thought maybe I was doing something wrong, but it seems like I'm not. Um, obviously, they uh, their main idea <laughs> was get sets. Which, you know, we have a limited ability to do because this is rebirth, not homecoming. Um, and they're not easy to get access to on this server. We're basically stuck waiting until our reward merits build up, and at this point we now have 179. Now we get some from the various um, expansion packs that you get for the veteran rewards, but um, you have to just get lucky to turn over the right card. All right, we're looking for three clues. I'm going to leave my minions down here. We've done this before. They're going to wait. I'm going to turn invisible... Um, one of the other things they said, by the way, was um, one of them, I think it was Adrian, said, well, I, I try to make sure my mastermind has some kind of stealth. Um, and you can stealth your way through missions and stuff like that. And I said, yep, I have stealth and invisibility and teleport. And they said, well, that's a good combo, right? They they kind of agreed that those are good things to use as uh, masterminds. And uh, so I feel like I really haven't, I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. So this glowy is what we have to get after. Um, I thought maybe I was doing something wrong, but I feel like I'm not, given the advice that they gave me. And where are my buddies? They're over there. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna navigate them. Oh, I gotta turn visible. I'm gonna navigate them little by little so that they go the right way. Right? If I just click where I want them to go, they're gonna go in places I don't want them to go and aggro things I don't want them to aggro. Um and one of the things that Valentina said when I was talking about them, you know, aggroing things I don't want and stuff, she said, well, if you're, if you only have the big guy and the two medium guys, there's less of that, right? Because they, they do a better, because they don't like get in each other's way as much, right? One of the problems is 
that they block each other from getting onto here and stuff like that. And so then they fall down because they're, they can't go into each other's space, right? There's collision detection and in this game, and so they can't go into each other's space. And she said, well, if you only have like two or three of them, then that's not a problem because there aren't enough of them to block each other's space. And so, um, yeah, that was her advice. I, I feel like if I'm going to be a mastermind, I want to summon all my pets. But to be honest, other than use your big guys and get sets, they didn't really have a lot of advice for me. Which mostly just makes me think I'm not probably not doing anything necessarily wrong. I mean, Adrian, for instance, definitely agreed that the minions can get you into a lot of trouble because they block each other and go places you don't want them to go. And, um... That there's, there's sort of a limit to how much micromanagement you can actually do. So, you know, I, I never had any doubts about whether I was doing what I could or should do or what, what it was best for me to do as a scrapper. But with a mastermind, I always wonder because this is just not an archetype I played before to this level. And so it's always possible that I could just not have hit on the most effective thing to do. What? Where is he? Where did he go? Are we missing minions? What's going on here? Everybody's here but Larry? And he, who somehow aggroed those guys. I guess. I will kill him first and then I'll resummon. I keep clicking that. Yeah, let's get him back. Well, see, that's a perfect example of how he following me went around the wrong way, went the long way around when everybody else didn't, and he aggroed some enemies and those enemies were nasty enough to kill him even though they wouldn't have any chance against my whole horde of minions, right? And that's all down to the stupidity and the incompetence of the AI. And especially here, what... And you, you saw it like when I was running a lot with quickness and super speed, you get caught right here in between the torches it's very easy to get caught on the torches like that, and the AI gets caught on them a lot. And so um, I, I managed to not get too caught up on them in, with the flight because it's not as fast as super speed, not even close. And so um, I tend not to get caught up too much with this character, but uh, the minions definitely get caught up on the torches, right? And so one of the reasons they straggle in is because they got caught up on those torches. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, another comment that Adrian had, like, when I was complaining about, like, having to get these guys over the bridge, she's like, yeah, I just dismiss them and resummon them. And again, yeah, that's possible, but you really, really should not have to do it. It's a little ridiculous that the AI is so bad that it can't walk across a bridge. And you have to, like, dismiss and resummon your minions because they're too stupid to walk across a bridge. That's pretty sad that the AI couldn't figure that out, you know. That the programmers couldn't figure out how to get the AI to figure that out. But yeah, she's like, I don't bother trying to make sure they can navigate. I just... She said, I just, uh... Dismiss and resummon. And see here? Look at what's going on. Come on, guys. All right. And there's the last item. Spoilers. So I don't know how long the story arc is going to go. It might get us to level 44, 45. We'll see. We've gotten there very quickly because of the XP bonus. And I am actually using these XP boosters now. Why not? At this point, I don't feel like I don't feel like there's any need to preserve the content because we've basically been able to do all of it and um, sometimes even run out of it. 
So, um... Oh, bad guy's over here. That was an over-aggro, or, or an accidental aggro. Blundered into that one. I was too busy looking down here. I didn't realize there was another hallway over here. This really does feel like a Dungeons & Dragons dungeon. The way they designed this, pretty cool. Alright, let's see what's in here. We know the um, the items in here because I hear the glowy, and we can see it on the map. Uh, let's see, do we have a boss in here? No boss at all. Okay, so we can just move our minions. We can just move our minions in here. And they can attack. No problem. Again, the reason I have them move in first and then attack, you know, issue the attack order is because otherwise, and even still, you can see it screwing up, right? They can't figure out how to get through the damn door, which I find very frustrating, but that's just the way it is. I'm just, I'm just burning these inspirations that we don't need. I can heal so fast now we really don't need a heal inspiration. And that is the end of this mission, and we are now two beads from level 45. Good night, boys. Oh, I didn't realize we had that last circle guy there. I thought he was defeated, but he must have been in an ice block, so he wasn't doing anything to me. All right, let's call Zukara, who says... So we still don't know what the Circle's ultimate plan is, but at least you've uncovered Lilith, whose location you will go and imprison the demon. I'll attempt to translate the scrolls. There may be more here than we can know. So I'll keep working on the translation of these scrolls. Meanwhile, I want you to go to the cavern where Lilithu dwells and trap her soul. It may be of use to us later. So trap Lilithu's soul is the next step. How long are we on? It's 12 minutes? Okay, so we might have room for another mission after this. I'm going to pause this, go defeat Lilithu, and then if there's time we can um, auto-teleport to another mission. Alright folks, we are back. We are outside this mission. So we're going to head in and summon our buddies. By the way guys, um, I don't know if it's been audible. I think it happened mostly while the game was paused, but it, it's probably going to keep happening. Starting, at, This is now what like 2 in the afternoon, starting around um, 11 o'clock last night. One of my neighbors, I don't know what's going on, if their car alarm is going off or something. They are... Um, it sounds like somebody leaning on the horn, right? And it goes on for a long time, and then it starts doing these short beeps, and then it stops. And um, it's within a, within a couple houses of me. I don't know whose house. It started 11 o'clock last night. It went on for a while. Um, and then I went to bed, and I'm in the back of the house, so I didn't I didn't hear it when I went, first went to bed. But I woke up in the middle of the night, and I thought I heard it going again. But I was, you know, again in my bedroom, the pillow over my head, so I didn't really hear it very clearly. I could have been dreaming. Who knows? I woke up several times. I wonder if maybe the horn was waking me up. When I got up in the morning, it was doing it again. And um, it did this for um, an hour or so. Every, like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it does this. And then it stopped. And I thought, I, I, as bizarre as this would be, because it's really loud, I thought, it's not just a horn going beep beep. It is like someone leaning on the horn, right? I thought, could it possibly be there are some elderly people around me, and not to, like, be age discriminatory, but sometimes elderly people, my mom is one, have a little bit of trouble with their hearing. Um, my hearing isn't what it was when I was a kid either. Neither is my vision. Um, so your senses start to decline. And um, so I thought maybe... Somebody who's elderly and hard of hearing went to bed, their car started car alarm noises or whatever, and they didn't hear it because they were asleep. And then when they woke up, maybe they, you know, were near the front door and suddenly realized it was their car and went out and turned it off. But it's now continued um, several times while I was eating lunch. 
It started around 11 again, like 11 o'clock, but in the morning this time. And it went until just recently, every 15 minutes or so. Seems like it might have stopped again, not sure. But if you hear really loud horn honking, that's what it is. And um, it's one of my neighbors. I don't know which one. I'm, I'm going to go for a walk around my development this afternoon. I try to do that every day, when at least when it's nice out, so that I get some exercise. And um, if it starts going, I'll figure out just exactly whose house it is. But uh, it's hard to tell from inside. I can't, I don't see anything down the street, but, uh, like, it's very hard, it's, it's echoing, it's very hard to sort of localize where exactly this thing is coming from. You know, I'm a member of this really annoying app called Nextdoor, which is like Facebook for neighbors. Um, I don't like being on it, and I resisted joining it for years. I was on my Homeowners Association advisory board. We don't actually have a fun completely functioning homeowners association because the builder still owns enough properties to have the majority votes on the on the advisory and the on the HOA and so they can just do whatever they want but we got enough frustrated enough at them that they agreed to set up an advisory board where we could advise them of things they basically ignore us anyway but um but it looks it looks like they're listening to us so I was on the HOA advisory board for a while and all the people on there were like, oh, we got to use Nextdoor. It, it helps us stay in touch and everything. And um, I resisted. I refused. I don't want more spam. I don't want more Facebook stuff. Equivalent of Facebook, no. I'm not interested. Um, but when the whole pandemic started, I thought, well, you know, I better keep up with what's going on in my neighborhood because there isn't going to be any other way, right? There's not going to be as much stopping and chatting with people on the street to find out what's going on. So I joined it, and I then when I got my new computer and switched browsers, I haven't like I haven't logged in in weeks because um, the old browser remembered my password, but the new one doesn't, and I just haven't bothered to go find the password and type it in. But I'm tempted to go to next door and see if anybody has written up the fact that this ridiculous horn honking is going on, and maybe even finger like who the heck is doing it. Because I don't know. For a sec, I thought this was a plus two, but no, it's a plus one. It's a lieutenant. That's why he's orange. I was thinking regular behemoths. So the question is, where the heck is this? Look at this base. Oh my gosh. I don't know where Lily 2 soul is, and I keep forgetting to use this thing. What's it do, anyway? Oh, so it's like quadruple damage against, or triple damage against, um, undead. I should use it. Although, I don't know if the demons count as undead. I mean, I'm sure the Nerva Spectrals do, but these guys, the Behemoth Zone, they're regular demons, I think. I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm not sure in the lore of COH. I know in D&D, &D, these demons would be considered fiends, not undead. But I don't know how they're coded up in City of Heroes. Do they count as undead? I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What a ridiculous dungeon. Just endless length and, and no width. Who designs a map like this? Well, let's see, does it work? Couldn't tell if it worked on him or not. Well, we've got nine more uses left, so we'll use it on Lila too and see if it works. Now oh, this guy's going to be a pain because he's surrounded now. And there we go. Jeez. 
Look how long this is. It just keeps going in one direction. That's crazy. Now the reason I'm not taking all the side branches and clearing it all out is because I'm assuming that the soul will be here. Yeah, at the end. There's Lily too, who is an elite boss. So it's good that we are on plus zero. Is there anybody else with her? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's... Come over here, guys. Let's finish these guys up. I mean, one thing that... If we're talking about, like, what to do with the little guys... I don't really, generally, spend a lot of effort on individually healing them. And I don't bother putting mess defense on them or anything like that. They're just sort of like there to soak damage, you know, and maybe do a little extra damage if they can. Oh no, I got Larry Hell on Earth. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to give him the mess defense and then give Curly Hell on Earth, and I clicked them in the wrong order. So that may make our job a little harder. Let's give Curly some extra resistance, and come on, guys. Come with me. Let's go kill Lila too. Uh, wrong way. There she is. Bring him in. And kill. That's what I want. It's the reason I bring them in and then order the attack is because I want them to do that Alpha Strike where they all hit at once. And in that time, she didn't see us for a second, and we actually got um, a quick shot off on her. Look at the ice we're, we're giving her. That's excellent. That is slowing her down like crazy. Let's give Curly some extra mez defense. Oh, and they froze her. Excellent. Good work, guys. It doesn't last long, but that is a huge help. Now she's trying to burn my demons. It doesn't work. Let's see if this thing works on her. Oh, too late. She is dead, and we have completed the mission. What's this blank line here? That's really weird. I wonder what that blank is from. Over in the rewards here. What is that? I don't know. Alright, guys. We can head on out. And it doesn't seem to be the end of the arc, so we got at least one more mission to go. She says, well done, Nightmare Lass. You have Lila to soul. A fortunate thing, for I believe we will have need of it. And then she says, I've translated the circles, scrolls, Nightmare Lass. And even I am somewhat shaken by what I have learned. It seems the circles summoned Lila to primarily to distract us from their real goal. Even as we speak, they are preparing a great ceremony in the sky. A ceremony that will wipe out all the descendants of Mew. Now, ordinarily... I'd have some sympathy with that goal. The problem is, by now, the Mew bloodlines run through a vast percentage of the population, about 20%, if my sources are to be believed. That's a lot of important people, Nightmare Lass. It could even include you. I need you to stop that ceremony. Stop it before it's too late. Yeah, I don't like the idea of us saving lives, actually. <laughs> but that's the mission, so I guess we'll do it. So let's head to the mission door, and this will be our final mission of the day. It may be our final mission of this uh, chunk until episode 45 if this is the final um, mission of the story arc, which it seems like it very well could be. We do have one team inspiration in the bank, in our not in the bank, but in our email. It's a team break free, so we could try using that. Um, that's the sort of thing where if I lose to a boss and I see that he's over, like really, really mezzing my enemies, when we go fight him again, I might, you know, try it. So five rituals to disrupt. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is like, if I know I'm going to lose because my minions keep getting mezzed, then it's time to do the team break free. But I'm not going to blow it now on bosses that maybe don't even do any mez. So there's two goals here. I feel like that's the end of it. That, that must be the end goal. Is there a boss over there? Let's start this way. 
Right? I, f I see two markers there. I don't know. Well, we'll start over here, I guess. Oh, these guys are they're not doing the ritual. They're just in the way. Okay. Now, this is an outdoor map, but I don't mind it because the waypoints kind of define the area for us and make it... Whoops. No, no. Well, go get her. Make it so that we're not just sort of randomly wandering through the wilderness. Okay, so we should be going this direction. There's a ritual over here. This looks like it's falling off the end of the world here. What's down there? I think you guys need to stay. What the heck is down here? I don't see anything down here. It's a ritual in the sky. It's not down. It's up. Ah. There. There it is. All right, so my minions need to come over here. I don't know if they can get over here. All right, just desummon. This is the ritual in the sky. Okay. All right, time to resummon our puppies. Go on down and kill. Oh, I need to rebuff these guys. So it looks like there's a ritual right there. And look at there, an elite boss. Okay, we'll come back to him. I think we should do him last. Where's the next one? It's not letting me click on them. there. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the neck, isn't it? All this navigating. Yeah, alright, so we'll fight the elite boss. It's just not worth it. I'm going to have to fly to each spot and resummon my demons. So there are three minions. Okay. Buffing us up. for Curly. Alright, let's teleport these guys in. And then the next guy. And I know it burns some of our buff, but it's really... You, ha you kind of have to play a gambling game, right? I mean, if he comes, and he did, we want our buffs, right? We can't I can't be sitting here trying to put all four buffs on my guys as he's attacking us. It will never work. Okay, need a break free. And let's cut his defense. Missed him. Wow, I hate that. But our guys are doing alright. Fortunately, he's an ice demon and our guys have resistance to fire and ice. Let's give Larry a little bit of health. Got him. Alright, so this will take care of the one ritual. Okay, now the next one is over there. And this is going to be one of these multi-summon things because the demons can't make it from there to here. They'll fall. So, we'll resummon them. Right here. Now, I think that's probably it for difficulty. 
So I'm not going to bother applying these little buffs every time. It's just not worth it. And these are white cons, so it doesn't... We don't, like, even need all the minions. I could get away with just the little guys against white cons, so... Okay, that disrupted that ceremony. That one is next. Can we make it there? Go attack that thing. It looks like we can make it over there. So that's good. Come here, guys. It looks like we can get right over from here. There aren't any gaps for them to fall down. You can see how stupid and slow they are. Like, they really don't know how to get up here. Look it. Come on. Alright, and now down. And now over. It's really annoying that you have to, like, micromanage them to this degree. But they are very stupid about going up and down over things. So you kind of have to tell them where to go, and then they can attack. So this is just kill them until the ceremony is disrupted. And now the next one is straight ahead. Can we get there from here? I think we can. Come over here, guys. Yeah, we need to get to this bridge. So come over here. And then up there. And then attack. It's a little disappointing that the elite boss was at the front. I feel like that's the last one you should fight, right? That should be the climax of the battle instead of the intro. Guys, come over here, guys. Let's go. And then up here. You coming? Yeah, you have to like give it to them in little pieces so they can figure out where they're going. They just can't do it all at once. You can't just say, follow me. They won't. They'll get lost. You have to give them, like, waypoints. See, this one's still struggling. He can't get up here. But we don't need him, so we'll just attack. See, look at Mo down there. Still struggling. He finally figured out how to get over here. After the battle's over, he'll join us. Which is just frustrating. Yeah, I can't remember which game it was where the AI was pretty poor. It might have been something like one of these like RTS games like Empire Earth or Age of Empires or one of those. And um, I was always giving the uh, my troops, I think it was, these like partial waypoints to where they were, where I wanted them to go because I knew if I just told them go over here, they were going to get it all screwed up. Like if I, if I I knew if I told them just get from California um, to New York, they weren't gonna be able to do it. So I would have them go the equivalent of it wasn't in the U.S. I don't think, but the equivalent of going from California to Nevada to like uh, I don't know um, Nebraska to Ohio, little by little working their way over because <clears throat> they would just mess it up if I tried to tell them go from one place to the next. Um, and this is sort of the same. You gotta kind of increment your way over because they're too dumb to just find their way. Pathfinding is very good short distance, like from there to here is fine. 
but long distance pathfinding is absolutely borked, which you can see from the ambushes, like where they can't find me, even though they know exactly where I am, sometimes they can't pathfind to me if the map is too complicated. So in those um, like open warehouses and the ships that are like you're in a container ship, those things are so open that the AI can find you. But if you're in like a complicated office building or arachnos lab, sometimes it can't find you because their pathfinding is so bad. And that is the end of the arc. We've got our reward merit, and we really only have a half a B to go to get to level 45, so I'm going to probably play for a half hour or so later today or tomorrow, and then I will be bringing you guys back to see level 45 and the next set of story arcs. But let's talk to our contact and see what she has to say. And, oh, we've leveled up, so I don't actually need to take a break. I will start the next set of story arcs in the next episode tomorrow. <clears throat> she says you stop the ceremony, <coughs> return with the list of me's most powerful descendants, etc. Okay. So we have Terrence Dobbs. She's still giving us arcs. She is. Um, Terrence Dobbs and Dr. Forrester. So I guess we'll work on those guys. But first, we need to level up, guys. So let me pause it here, and I'll bring you back when we are at the leveler. All right, we are back at the trainers. Train to the next level. So, I think we're going to want World of Pain to be maxed out because it gives plus resistance to our team. Um, it's a point-blank AoE, right? Um, and it gives 11.25% resistance to all damage, right, on the guys in uh, in a 35 foot radius of us, it if we enhance it, it can, that'll get it up to almost 20 percent. Really good. I'm not going to worry about the two hit buffs on it, but I think enhancing resistance would be very useful. And then suppress pain increases regeneration on our guys. Mostly what I want to do with this, we don't really need recharge on this because it's a toggle. Um, but you can put recharge speed on it. But what I'm thinking is another set would go a long way. It would help us, at least individually, for our powers. And it would reduce the endurance cost by quite a lot. Um, and the endurance cost right now is only 0.18. We can get that down to something like a 0.10. That would be very good. Um, I don't know that we're ever going to get sets on this power. So I think all of those things are good. I'm really not seeing any point to um, enhancing leadership. Triple defense enhancing this will only get it to about 4.5%, just under 5% from 2.5% defense. Given that everything else on our minions is resistance, it's unclear to me why 2% defense would really do anything at all to protect our minions, especially the little guys. So I'm actually not going to bother enhancing that at this point. Um, if somebody can provide me with a reason why it would make sense to enhance maneuvers, let me know. If my math is wrong, let me know. But my math tells me that with triple re uh, defense enhancers on here, it's plus, what, 60%? Um, you can't double it, right? Am I right about that? I think that's correct. So you can only get it to about another one and a half which means you're looking at about 4.2 to 4.5 percent defense instead of 2.6. It's unclear to me how that little t tiny amount of defense all by itself is going to really do anything to help our minions. They're mostly resistance based and what their buffs are mostly come with resistance and what other buffs I can provide them are mostly resistance based like these things so um, or regen right so I can see doing things that would add regen I can see doing things that would add resistance but defense it seems like it's not worth it to me so um, let me know if I've got the math wrong on level 46 is another level where we're going to get uh, slots I could put three slots on it then but my plan right now is to slot I think slot world of pain and we can put triple resistance on it. 
and that will give AOE resistance to all of my enemy, all of my allies while I'm within range of them. It will dramatically increase their resistance by almost 20%. So that's good. Um, I don't know. Do we have the recipes to make this? We do. We have one. We have enough material. Ceramic armor plate we need. We have enough never melting ice. We need ceramic armor plate. And if we can get enough of that, we can make um, multiple resist damage and, and just slot this out right now. And we have room. Let's check the vault. Do we have ceramic armor plate? We don't, but we might have it in the base. So let's head in there. It's pretty close, so I won't pause it. It's right over across the bay here. You know, I had a mission, a flashback mission in Paragon City, and it was actually blue skies and bright and sunny out, and I was like, oh my gosh, this game looks so nice when it's bright out. I haven't seen blue skies on this character except for that mission in probably four months. I really don't like the Rogue Isles, and I'm, I'm going to be glad to be done with the villain side of the game, I have to say. Didn't feel that way about the hero side. And Pretoria, as much as I don't like the missions, at least Pretoria was sunny. Okay, so that's got nothing in. What about this? Ceramic? We're looking for ceramic, right? We don't have that, so we're going to need to go to the uh, auction house and buy, like, four of those. Right, let me just double check what we need for the resist. We're going to need four ceramic armor plates, so let's see what we can get it for. I've still got this thing up for sale. It hasn't sold in a while, but that's alright. So ceramic armor plates, these are cheap. They're 987 up for sale, so we'll just bid 1000 on them. Whoops, not that much. And we want four of them. Let's make the offer. We should get it right away. Yep. All right, so we now have enough. We can make all of our resist. This is what I like about being high level. You can craft, I, I, I always prefer SOs. You just go buy them. But at least at high level, whether it's buying SOs or crafting, as soon as you get the slots, you can put stuff in them, whereas at low level, you can't. All right, so we want resist damage going to create one and then we're going to buy two and create two and now we have enough to fully enhance world of pain so now when we cast this it's going to be almost 18 percent resistance to all of our minions for a minute and a half within 35 radius, 35 foot radius of us. So as long as we stay around them, we should be good to go. All right, um, that's enough for today, guys, I think. We've got our new power. It's fully slotted and enhanced. And we're ready to head to level 46. I will start one of the two remaining contacts in the next episode, probably tomorrow or the next day. It's getting toward Christmas. There may be a day or two when I'm not posting and filming. But um, by the 27th, we'll be back, and I'm not going anywhere, so I'll probably actually be filming on the 24th and 26th as well. So until next time, uh, happy holidays to everyone, and um, I will see you next time. I am Scrapperlock, and this has been City of Villains on the Rebirth server.